was was basketball something that was always in your mind as something you were interested in was it introduced to you in middle school and then when your coach says you know you're you're this is something that you're good at so to so to speak then you were like oh okay I'll do this thing or was it was it more something that like you knew that you liked to do at a very early age and like what was your mom's relationship with you loving basketball and that sort of thing I love, I love, love, love that question. Um, yeah. Before I started playing basketball at the age of 11 slash 12, because I, I say 11 was when I actively participated. I don't think I really played basketball. <laughs> the game right. actively, because um, nothing could happen at, during that stage. But uh, it was, you know, for me, the, the introduction, you know, to basketball was something that was so brand new. I love being involved in school. I was in the, you know, course, I think I had a solo for Halo that I hope no one ever hears. In <laughs> in right, right. Um, I don't remember. I think my memory has just blocked it for me. Uh, for my <laughs> yeah, we'll get um, our team on that. But, <laughs> yeah, we will find that video I gotta soon. stop putting that out there because I right, feel like the world's right. dangerous now. But um, yeah. yeah, so, you know, I was super involved. I was a part of everything. And, um, you know, early on, I thought, okay, my biggest goal in life was, you know, and it's an extreme, it's extremely important, but, you know, was to get married, um, start a family, and it was to work. Everything that was positive reinforcement in the household was, this will be good for your husband. This will be good right. for you. Oh, wow. This is important wow. for your kids. This right. is, your obedience was, you're like basically how you were Gold. raised as a woman, you know, yeah. like are you obedient? That that's that that was your value level. How obedient right. can you be? Um, and so early on, I was like, you know what? Like that was it. That's what I look forward to. I still do, you know, till today because it was so ingrained in me. Um, was was that day, you know, when you get married, that's your ultimate purpose, that's your highest achievement. Um, and to some it is, and that's amazing. And I know I applaud them. I think it's incredible. I thank my mother every single day and um don't take that away from her at all. But that's all I, I saw of myself. And then when I started playing basketball, I just became like five, eight when I was like 11. And I just shot right. up one day right. and was tall. And I saw another tall girl in the park. And I said, and I remember running in the park. And I'm like, hey, hey, where'd you get your jeans from? That was my biggest concern. <laughs> <laughs> Touch the floor. Right. Where did you get right. it from? Tell me now. Right. Like, I right. need right. these jeans that right. get to the floor. And she right. just looked at me and she laughed. And I thought she was a giant. I thought she was like, I was like, this is the tallest woman I've ever seen. She's six three. Um, but at the uh, time she was so tall to me. And right. she's like, let's just play basketball. And that was my introduction. Like, let's play basketball. And wow. she's like, you shot for your middle school team. And I was the only girl on the team. And I had amazing and supportive group. And that first year I was taller than all of them. And then you, they went to sleep a summer and then they all came back taller than me. And um, you know, that was that was the introduction, you know, asking someone where they got their dreams from. And now right. she's a great friend of mine. And right. um, she said, you should try out for your middle school boys team. And then I did. And that year I tried out for my first um, girls AU team with the Riverside Hawks. And I had an amazing mentor who's still my mentor till today. And right. Um, right. it was just women of color who coached me. And that was my first time being coached by women. And, and that was my introduction 